Right, well that ought, it hasn't had 24 hours, but it doesn't really need the full 24 hours to stop it shifting around. So, um, let's take it off see what we got. Nice cup of tea. Let's speed this bit up. Place. I mean, that would probably work to a. Well, and it's got a flat bottom, that's no problem. So, I mean, that basically would work straight away. Just glue some more on it. Yeah, so this stuff keeps for ages. The tube I had yesterday was a couple of years old. Um, as is this, but this one was just opened yesterday. Right, let's put it off to one side. <coughs> just release the catch, and there's no pressure on it, and it isn't going to ooze out everywhere. Looks like confectionery, looks like some kind of cof toffee caramel, and it dries to like finish of a Werther's original. It's got pretty good stuff actually, it's hard as it's, it's like hard plastic when it, when it sets. I'd probably use this. Well, maybe not. I was going to say you could probably use it as the as like almost like a reinforcement bit at the front. Take some knocks, but it's not supposed to have a water application. Seems to work alright for me. Although, really, the time this would actually spin it in the water is a tiny fraction of its life cycle. So this is actually designed to fit inside that thing. So I better put them both on the roof rack and me and my daughter can go out and set for kayaks, which is a little bit more proficient than swimming because she's only eight. Um, will hopefully be this summer if the thing opens up a bit more. Currently we're in a stay at home order, which is why I'm staying at home, because I've been ordered. As you can see, it's not rocket science. The most difficult part really is actually designing the cutting plan so that you don't have to buy too many balls of this stuff because this stuff's fairly expensive. This board at the bottom was like 32 bucks and giant thick pink board which this was made of like the leftovers from my last build was like 80 bucks but on this build so far I've only spent building that for that, which is like 32 bucks plus tax. Um, so only have to, this whole build is actually gonna cost me 32 bucks plus tax. I think I had the rest of the other stuff from my last build. And then the only thing I have to do is to put these things on the bottom. It's gonna serve a couple of purposes. Put these on the outside. Uh, so these are going to go on the bottom and right on the outside edge on the, on the bottom underneath obviously now there's going to be a ton of buoyancy right on the edges so it's going to be super stable and this is going to like stiffen up the middle a little bit too 
that, this is surprisingly stiff, this stuff. Um, yeah, so a lot of the function of these sides is actually just to stiffen everything up. Um, really not worried about getting water in because the whole thing is obviously styrofoam, polystyrene, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it isn't going to sink. Um, you can fill this up with water. It's, there's ne it's never going to sink. Um, it's probably going to snap in half before it sinks. Yeah, so the next thing is after, the, after this is set, I'm going to stick the bottoms on and then we're going to start shaping it because obviously it's a bit ragged. Um, cut some bits off. And I don't think I'm going to cover this one. I'm going to use this without covering because then it'll be super light. Because after all, it is for an eight year old, so it needs to be like super, super light. All right. That's it for today.